So, as you can see my cauldrons here, and I have dragon's blood and um, oh, mallow root right now. Burning in it. it. Smells lovely. Just to kind of give some atmosphere, plus I have a beautiful candle burning. So today I have working this time Peter Grande's one hour of witchcraft fantasy music. Um, I'll put a link to this in the background of the video in the comments. So I hope you guys enjoy the music. It's very relaxing. So um, today I'm going to talk to you about The Grimoire of the Green Witch by Anne Mora, A Complete Book of Shadows. Okay, so the first thing that pulled me to this book was what the back said. I was in chapters, um, most times I just shop online at shops like www.dragonmoon.ca. Close friends of mine run this shop and honestly it's wonderful. I suggest to check it out. I did a review on it before. Um, yeah, so I'm going to read the back of the book so you guys can know what drew me in. So, she starts off this way. Think not that any secrets have been given away here, or that any oaths have been violated, for nature has no secrets, but is open and free to any who have the will to explore, listen, observe, and learn. And at the end of my rituals, I say, as I received, may I offer food for the body, mind, and spirit to those who seek such a me. By taking this book of shadows into your hands, you are accepting from me that which you seek, food for your body, mind, and spirit. So just that first bit before we move on to the bit, you know, it's, it sounds a little catchy, at, kitschy at first. Oh, no secrets been given away, blah, 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 right? Sounds like, okay, yeah, um, trying to sound all mysterious, but it's true, nature doesn't have any sort of secrets. We all can tap into nature, and that's what she's trying to focus on here. So after we get through food for your body, mind, and spirit, she goes on to this, and this is what maybe go, okay, maybe I'll look deeper into this book. Take and use that which appeals to you. Change or alter those things that you feel you should, and add your own entries in the blank pages provided for this purpose. For a book of shadow and grimoire grows with each generation. Let this book be a guide for you as you walk along your own path with the goddess and god. May your craft flourish in joy, and may the divine inspire you. And blessed be thy feet that bring thee on thy path, and Mora. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, and Mora has been a prota prota oh my goodness, there. practitioner of green witchcraft for over 40 years. Um, She's an historian and teacher, and is an author of the popular Green Witchcraft series, known as well as this one, The Origins of Modern Witchcraft, Witchcraft and Alternative Path, and Tarot for the Green Witch. In the States, this is $21.99. In Canada, it's $25.50. It's produced by Lewin Worldwide. Um, honestly, when you first get into the book, it's basic. It, it, it's explaining what everything is, how to set up an altar, do a circle, grounding, what green witchcraft is, right? Um, great for your beginners. What I really enjoyed of it is the deeper you go, the more it has. Um, it talks about your estabits from a green witch's point of view. It gives you some songs for our Yuletide, which is kind of nice. It's a pagan twist on classic carols, you know. Um, some, it gives you activities on the Sabbaths, 
and a sabbat. Um, and after each chapter, there's a little blank spot for you to fill in some notes. There is daily chants, songs of the goddess. One thing I did like about this was not everything in it is white and fluffy. It does touch upon the darker side. It also tells you how to um, cast a dark circle. Because, you know, witchcraft is neither light or dark. It is just it is. So once you get past all the hand fasting rituals, um, they also have a hand parting ritual, which I thought was really cool because as we know, in life not everything lasts forever. But what really got me was most books I buy now is for extra reference. It had the trees by the day and which goddess and gods they work with. So let's say today being a Sunday, Sundays are ash, birch, and laurel. Elves and the goddess are the entities that work with ash, birch, and laurel. Properties of trees and shrubs. It's a quick, easy, okay, oak. Fertility, power, balance, protection, success, truth, strength, courage, and endurance. I need to do a spell to protect me because I have whoever is not happy with me right now. Come to page 200. Okay, yeah, I can use my oak. Maybe I'll mix in a little bit of hawthorn for purity and protection. Um, and some alder for some strength and to build some foundations against this person. Incense by use, smudges, your essential oils for what they're used, and feathers. Eagle feather for protection. Hair, what to do with it. Um, boiling the hair, braiding, burning, combing, cutting, disleveling, loose, dark, fair, and red what each color means to use with, planetary associations, your planetary, everything you can think of. <coughs> Sorry about that, I still have a slight cough from my cold. Um, it goes, it does have some very nice charts. It's just an all around great book to work off of. Um, one thing that is really good is there quick spell chart. So we were going off of protection. Let's find our chart for protection. I'm going to come to you guys so you can see this nicely. Hopefully it works for us. Protection. Waxing is the moon. Color, black, white, or blue. Element, fire, earth, day, Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday. And it just keeps going. Frankincense, malachite, domalite, is the stones. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. So that was one thing that once I saw that I was like, perfect. Um, yeah, this has been Sienna Sparrowhawk on The Green Witch's Grimoire by Anne Mora. Blessed be and merry meet, merry part and merry meet again, guys. Have a great night and 